Hey guys. Today we will be talking about the curve involute. In the differential geometry of curves, an involute is a curve obtained from another given curve by attaching an imaginary taut string to the given curve and tracing its free end as it is wound onto that given curve, or in reverse, unwound. For example, an involute approximates the path followed by a tether ball as the connecting tether is wound around a center pole. If the center pole has a circular cross section, then the curve is an involute of a circle. Alternatively, Another way to construct the involute of a curve is to replace the taut string by a line segment that is tangent to the curve on one end, while the other end traces out the involute. The length of the line segment is changed by an amount equal to the arc length traversed by the tangent point as it moves along the curve. First, we will take an example of a triangle. Initially draw an equilateral triangle of side 30 mm. Then, extend each side of a triangle to a definite length as shown. The extension of the first line should be equal to 1 times the length of a side. Similarly, the extension of the second line should be equal to 2 times the length of a side and so on. Internal angle of an equilateral triangle is equal to 60 degrees. So, the extended lines should be at 120 degrees to each other. Now, draw an arc, with second point as the center, and radius equal to the length of a side to intersect first extension line as shown. Similarly, draw an arc, with third point as the center, and the thus obtained intersection point as starting point to intersect the second extension line. Again, draw an arc, with first point as the center, and the thus obtained intersection point as starting point to intersect the third extension line. Finally, we have obtained the involute curve for a triangle. Now, we will take an example of a square. Initially draw a square of side 35 mm. Then, extend each side of a square to a definite length as shown. The extension of the first line should be equal to 1 times the length of a side. Similarly, the extension of the second line should be equal to 2 times the length of a side and so on. Internal angle of a square is equal to 90 degrees. So, the extended lines should be at 90 degrees to each other. Now, draw an arc, with second point as the center, and radius equal to the length of a side to intersect first extension line as shown. Similarly, draw an arc, with third point as the center, and the thus obtained intersection point as starting point to intersect the second extension line. Again, draw an arc, with fourth point as the center, and the thus obtained intersection point as starting point to intersect the third extension line. Again, draw an arc, with first point as the center, and the thus obtained intersection point as starting point to intersect the fourth extension line. Finally, we have obtained the involute curve for a square.